Hello there, this is Dominic Steele from Christians in the Media and from Village Church in Sydney. In this Reading the Bible segment, I'm taking you through the book of Numbers, and we're still in Numbers chapter 1, and last time in this chapter, we saw that God was present with his people. At the time of the journey, coming out of slavery under Egypt, all the way through to the promised land, and also that Jesus came and he was present. In John chapter 1, he came and made his dwelling amongst us. This time, the faithfulness of God is on show. See, Numbers chapter 1, God tells the leaders of Israel to conduct a census. And the final result is tallied up in Numbers 145. So all the Israelites, verse 45, 20 years old or more, and everyone who could serve in Israel's army were registered by their ancestral houses. All those registered numbered 603,550. 603,000. When you add the women and the kids, that, that's 2 million. And so on face value, we've got, I don't know, the population of Perth, maybe a little more. Now, some people, they object to this figure. And my favourite argument for objecting to this figure is Deuteronomy 23, verse 12, where it's directed that everyone who wants to go to the toilet would have to go to the toilet outside the camp. And I was talking about that, this with my wife, Kathy, the pragmatist, and, and she said, ever the pragmatist, three kids, she said, well, it would have felt really special to live right up close in the centre of the camp near, near the tabernacle, but that would wear off when it's one o'clock in the morning and you've got to take your three-year-old to the loo outside the camp. Now, to be honest, I don't have a completely satisfactory answer to that. It might be that the Hebrew word uh, that is translated as thousand could actually really mean squad or family or tribe or chieftain. And so rather than meaning 46,000, it means 46 squads. Or, or it could be that the text has somehow been corrupted, but whatever. The result of the census is that it is crystal clear that God has been faithful to his promise. So you see, God made a promise to Abraham, Genesis 12, verse 2, I'll make you into a great nation and I will bless you. And then chapter 22 of Genesis, I will indeed bless you and make your offspring as numerous as the stars of the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your offspring will possess the gates of their enemies. Now, now whether or not in this census in numbers, we're talking 603,000 or 60,000, either way, we're talking much more than a nuclear family. God has been faithful to his promises. He's promised massive increase in descendants, and, and he's done that. And he is faithfully blessing his people, keeping his promises. But from the fact that you could have a census, Genesis twenty two seventeen hasn't actually come true in that the number of descendants to be given to Abraham was to be more than the stars in the sky, more than the sand on the seashore, an uncountable number. But in Numbers 1... If you've got a census, you can still count them. It's not till the final pages of the Bible, till Revelation chapter 7, and the vision after this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, and people, and language, standing before the throne and in and the Lamb. See, see God in Jesus is faithful to his promises. In fact, all God's promises are yes in Jesus. Now, next up in this book of Numbers, we're going to think about what it means to have God as central to our lives.